Hi, this is Ian Thompson, 60 Seconds with Ian. Today, we're going to talk about fixed rate versus variable. Remember, interest rates went up last week, just a quarter of a point. The variable rate, they say they're going to go up again two or three more times this year, perhaps more. So what's the best way to go, fixed or variable? Now, the research that we're seeing is three quarters of mortgages in 2020 were actually fixed rate. Now, the reason people do that is really peace of mind. You know your mortgage payment's going to be $1,600 regardless for the next five years and you can set your budget and that's it. Of course, with a variable rate, you don't know because when that goes up, then your payments are going to uh, not change per se, but the amount going to the principal of your mortgage goes down and more goes to interest. So it takes longer to pay it off. Now, here's the thing. When they're doing some research on it, people like that peace of mind. However, about six in 10 borrowers do not actually make it through the full five-year term. Things change. We know that through COVID and any number of reasons, divorce and you got a new job and you have to move, the family gets bigger, whatever. If you have to break that fixed rate mortgage, it's gonna cost more money. That's where a variable comes in. When you break a variable mortgage, it's three months interest. That's it, that's lower than interest rate differential. The penalty can be in the thousands. So there's no right or wrong answer, but make sure you do the research and talk to your broker to figure out fixed or variable what's best for you. Hey, if you like 60 Seconds with Ian, make sure you go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. That way you'll be notified every time a new video comes online. Okay? Have a great day.